Hello everyone, my name is Orfrigman, to me yesterday some more Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicle Next uh, on the last episode. Uh wait. Yeah, yeah, just just go watch it. There there's probably I have a terrible memory for these kinds of things. Anyway, all you need to know is that we did stuff, and you can watch that episode to tell you what we're gonna be doing today. Or probably not, because they're not really planned episode, they're just having to have it general leeway into which direction we're going anyway today we're talking with sun or sun Luar. it most likely look like sun Luar, but anyhow pardon me but wouldn't it not happen to have be a blade of to by any chance if so i have a small favor to ask i am an engineer impossible uh responsible for making parts using the orphan products but the production line has been impeded lately due to a dear of miranium rather than wait for no reason to worsen I sent my sister known by rock to collect more, but I am afraid I've lost contact with her, and there's no sign of Miranium delivery. I'm quite concerned, obviously, at this rate, production will cease altogether. The dog is trying to give me shit. I swear to god, don't give me no shit. <laughs> um Aren't you worried? Okay. Okay. Jeezum. Jeezum, you you trying you trying to give me shit? You're afraid? He's trying to sit on my lap? Jesus Christ, doggo, just don't fucking do that. I swear to God, someday I'll get you on camera and you won't like it. You're still not liking it, right? <laughs> fucking eh. That goddamn dog, okay. Uh, you aren't worrying about his missing friends, see how much that thing will trouble. I'll... I'll chastise, why not? Of course, I'm worried about her. If she's gone, not only am I out of whatever uranium she found, but I'm also missing some valuable labor. You think I would view such uh, losses lightly? I'm not a monster. Uh, yes. Why are you looking at me like that? Never mind. I shall continue. We'd like to ask your help in finding Non Barak. She may have gotten it dark on us, but she is wearing the finest equipment on our company can produce. I have no doubt whatsoever that she can manage to extract more uranium than a human could. So please, escort her back to the city and save our company for crisis. Orphan Pluck. You get a booster probe out of this, that's interesting. To ease the Miranium storage, on Barak is set off to mine the storage directly. See if we can help her. We just gotta go to the Delusional South Summit. Okay, that's actually very decent. To set off for the Delusional South Summit, so William, I shall uh, send you the precise coordinates. There you are. Oh, and if non Barak happens to be dead, uh, never mind the body. J just, just ruin. Wow! Okay! Jesus! It's going mafia on us! It's like, if you had the money, you got the money, but he's dead. Just bring me the money. <laughs> you in full mafia out there. Jeez, um, you any crimkers. <clears throat> don't fucking do this to me, dog. You know, little hen. Genehaspan. How the hell you spend that? Gen. Genehaspan. Wow, that is, that is not an easy thing to say. Okay, I think they're gonna spawn enemies on us. Yeah, what is that? Last the on Corpsalus. Oh my god, this makes no sense. Wait, wait a second. Let me just be sneaky out here. Oh, hell yeah. I am all about being that sneaky. Last, I'm gonna fight you someday. Just not today. I'm a lazy bastard after all. I don't waste my time on something along these lines. Oh wait, we've never discovered the South Summit? Well, actually, now we can see a little bit of how terrifying this place potentially is. Uh, yeah, there's level 60 Psyloth fucking everywhere. Yeah, this place ain't no chill. By the way, there's a... Um, there's a data probe there that you can install, but uh, it's pretty much useless. Uh, if we go there, it's level 5 mechanical, so we can't exactly install it. Still, uh, yeah, this place is, uh, it's fucking dangerous. It's a late game area, gotta say that. At least. Okay. He should be right around here. But he's not spawning. Come on now. Okay, there we go. There you are, non Barak. What are you doing? Are you suffering to the acidule outside? What are you doing out here, human? Me? I came here for, to mine for Marinium under orders from my employer. Sun Luarb. Okay. Through the Frontier Nav Data Pro placement site, we're completing the Lumi and the Primordial creatures are related to him. Frankly, I'm about to <laughs> wit's hand. That's a blade operative I've managed to install with so many data probes. It's both impressive and perplexing. Well, 
you should head back before you... Just leave it to the blade. Our technology far surpasses that of you humans. Given that, we possibly have the resourcing for our own materials. That will be far more efficient than relying on others. Yet the sensors I brought with me were of an astonishingly little use. That's going to be... That's become quite clear that we ought to rely on our kind's expertise on this matter. Under present condition, there is a 99.87% chance that I will uh, suffer a pointless death and end up in the shack of a primordial creature. Quite inefficient, as I am sure you will agree. Perhaps you, I will end back and propose that Son Lu Rob hire human specialists in our steed. Now, if you will excuse me, I hope you shall have a chance to speak in a more hospital setting some other time. Alright, that was as easy as that. I just talked no juice to that guy without even talking myself. That was amazing. Should do that more often then. Okay, actually I got you back, so I think everything's in order, right? Wait, no, no, not you, you. There we go. That's a fine mess indeed. I don't know wrong return, but apparently she fell to finding the uranium. That is strange. Our parent manufacturer will grind to a halt at this rate. You could even spell the rand. Uh, the very ruin of the orphan technology. Is this frontier now of yours truly so difficult to expand? Well, it's highly difficult. Have you been seeing the day you crash here, correct? I will grant you that you that your experience may outweigh our technological advantage in this case. I suppose known by rack proposal is the best choice. We'll leave this to the blaze operative. Interested? You shall be compensated, of course. <laughs> we need a mere two hundred uh, four thousand and two hundred but units of uranium if you may I ask of you to use technology and expertise to help rescue our company from this predicament well there you go that's e that's really easy welcome back Rosso and the uranium mining well there you go I have three thousand in fact if you want all of them that's fine by me she's more than enough to sustain our current manufacturing efforts I see I was right to ask for your help on this here's your payment with my compliments Orphean pluck mission complete results you rescued non barack and supplied son Lua with uranium that was easy. And while you're convincing, are you familiar with a woman named Christy? You know, Barack and I just met her with, with her recently. She has begun instructing non-humans in the use of Frontier Nav. She has been more salvatory, I must say. I never knew the full degree of risk involved in this selling data prof out of the willingness. I feel we are fair on the bill for such a task. I'm sure you will be. Uh, we will be relying on later projects such as yourself for all matters to do with Frontier Nav in the future. Well, I'm happy on your behalf. Yes, most reliable indeed. Truly, you people of Earth are ideal partners in matters of business. I hope you will continue in selling additional mining probes on our behalf. Well, that was easy. I gotta say, we're earning a ton of experience, actually. Quite happy at what's ha about what's happening. However, you may think that that's it. No, far from it. We still actually have quite a bit to go today. And so, we shall move on to our next objective. Our second mission of the day actually involves yet another person. And that is Quincy. Hey Quincy, how y'all doing? Let's have a little chat here. Hey, you're a blade too, right? Oh my god, your hair. You're not the only one after all. And then you'd be smart to watch out for Gus and his crew. And good people die for those bastards said their son of my team. And for what? For nothing! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell, tell me more. Tell me more before that. I can't make a judgment in this rash. My team and I were in the field collecting research samples. A man called himself Gus approached me with some mans and said the engine almost kills almost half of his team. Most of his team. Obviously, we felt terrible, so we had him with help him with the bounty mission. We fought the targets to the edge of a tall cliff, and as soon as the battle was finished, Gus and his, Gus and his men pushed us off. It was all a lie. They just wanted a reward without doing the work. Rekker and I still had two missions left to finish, but I was the only one to survive. Though I thought crazy for the anger and grief, even did I a little while, I suppose. <laughs> so look, I know this is a lot to ask, I get that, but... Is there any way I could get you to join me? Temporarily, Amy? I mean, just... Until I finish the missions. I know it's probably a little sentimental, but... Well, I want to finish what we all started. My people were proud blades, and they deserve it. The ultimate price. Team Quincy has been uh, reduced to just one member. I'm the last survivor on a mission. Okay, that's fine. We just gotta go rust like and see what we can do. You're a good person. Thank you. We don't know what happened. With all the challenges we face since leaving learn. I can't help but feel a deep connection with other blades. Yeah, yeah, let's let's share that. Together. 
I knew you'd, uh, you'd get it. Honestly, I think Gus and his hell can have some kind of aberration that shouldn't exist. Damn the vault to hell. Sorry, I got a little emotional there. Anyway, I need your help hunting a linker scarpo near the Rust Lake Noctilum. It's a dangerous target, so be very careful. I will. Okay, so right actually at the beginning, you will find that your objective is, uh... It's right there. Yeah. It's actually very near, so you shouldn't have any trouble with that. With that said, why go none of the way when you can go into fucking overkill? <coughs> and that's what we're doing. Oh, it actually didn't kill him. Well, forget I ever said that. We're, we're still gonna fucking destroy you. That that's an, that's another thing entirely. And there we go. That's that's the objective. That that's it. Huh, that was easy. Oh, jeez. That's quite the corpse, actually. Hey there, champ. That's what's really impressive finding you did there. Taking out the godly big gun must fetch a fat bounty. You gotta be tired. One of your fatal blades collect the cash for you while you get some shut eye. Yeah, I'll reason with you, but I won't fight. Huh? I don't know what the hell you're trying to say, but if it ain't yes sir, then I ain't interested. I guess you don't know what happens to people who call who have that kind of attitude with us. But no worries. All Gus will teach you soon enough. He's all yours, fellas. Time to teach Quincy a little errand boy. Here's what things go downtown. Haha! <laughs> you're going down. Going night night, bitch. Okay, then let's keep going. Alright, so now we have a bunch of humans that we gotta take care of. Why go none out of a way when you can go overkill? Yeah, that big ass sword ain't finna for you, right, buddy? <laughs> uh, I gotta love dick jokes. Is that technically a dick joke? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, they're getting hammered anyway, so... Not like it matters that much, right? Alright, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go a little bit violent. With the violence tree. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's that's fine by me. Okay, so they got a bunch of snipers, there, but they're so low level, it's not gonna matter. Actually, finding the script will actually be like a harder thing. Because at least they got some potential like to be dangerous, but when they're multiple and lower leveled, it usually doesn't mean a whole lot, so I guess they're just a bunch of idiots. I mean, it gotta be at this point, right? Think I wanna fight with me? That I just that that ain't smart. Yeah, I think I need you. I think you need to rethink your battle strategy here, buddy. You never take a fight against me and think you're gonna get out alive. Now that's basically asking for that sentence. But uh, you know, I ain't the one judging. I'm just the one saying that's a real dumbass decision. And there you go. And that's how you died. Please write a check onto the following address. So I can uh, smack your ass a little bit more time. Until I get the lesson. Until I get the memo. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna happen. I'm out of here. Oh, but I'm gonna remember you, buddy. You're making me regret an enemy of mine. You'll regret making an enemy of me real soon. And that's a promise. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like I give a f uh, I don't give a fuck about this. Oh, jeez, that was close. <laughs> I thought I was gonna aggro on me. But thankfully... It didn't. So let's go back to the administer district and see what we can do. Actually, residential district. And let's talk with my little Quincy there. Okay, I'm my little Quincy. Uh, wait, do I even like to meet you at night? I'm so suspicious. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. Okay, you're still there. Okay, whew. I thought it was never going to spawn. I was going to be strapped in an endless loop of loading. We are the blades. Final hope of humankind. Partners in peace, leaving no one behind. That doesn't even rhyme. I don't think that has even the right amount of syllables, but that's fine. Ah, you're back and you're just standing there, listening to me. Oh, well, this was awkward. Uh, so, what's our tactic song? And I like to sing it sometimes to help me remember the guys. Anyway, what's the status on the mission? Yeah, I'll report on damn right. Guessing his men turn up? I wonder if he was watching when I asked you to help. I have to think that he might be planning, but could I ask you to help with one last mission? Uh, if, <laughs> sure, I'll accept it. Why not? 
I'm overcome. We're kind of we're kindred spirit, you and I. Now sing with me. Sing, sing. Uh, no singing. You sure? Even if I hum a few. Right then. I guess I'll move on to the same mission. We need to retrieve a rare stone known as the Crimson Seer from the Devil's Colony in Oblivia. But I've heard rumors of some terrible indigent living in those caverns, so be prepared for anything. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad, actually. Devil's Colony is actually a very easy location. Alright, how about we just go there, then? Okay, so right here in Devil's Colony, we attract a bunch of monsters, but really, it doesn't matter. Just head to the central area, and this is where you'll find something very interesting. Oh, oh, is that you, Gus? Oh, what an interesting coincidence. Hey, hey, you don't want to work for Quincy. Uh, please, man, you gotta help me. You just gotta. The, the boys and I are eggs from breakfast today, and uh, now Mommy Dear is saying happy about it. Oh, that's a little bit sad now, ain't it? She's already eaten my boys, and now I, I'm cleared out of MO. I'm in real bad shape here. Uh, come on, we both plates, right? So help me do it in the bottom of the daisy head and eat it's Quincy! <laughs> oh, is he ever on about? Oh, man. Oh, I could leave you here. Oh, you fucking idiot. I know the right thing to do is aid. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, thanks, champ. Oh, you big. Huge! Look, I'll cover your back while you work, okay? Uh, just take that thing out. How are you out of ammo? I, I regenerate my guns like literally every time I unload them. So I don't know how you ran out of ammo. Maybe your gun is just shit. Maybe he's the only gun in existence that doesn't, that only has like a limited to the amount of ammo. Or some bullshit like that. I don't get it. Why does your gun have limited amount of ammo? Literally everybody else. Has an unlimited amount of ammo in this fucking world, so I, I don't I don't get it. Are oh, you such a fucking idiot? Anyway, let's just use primer. We're gonna go into critical power. Uh, we're gonna go for violent string. That's gonna boost our TP quite a bit. We're gonna go for a little bit of backslash action. Boom, stagger, double hit, side slash. Make make the counter continues. And make make the counter continues. Make the counter continues. Get the damage up. Kill everything. That's just our roll, baby. I don't think I got a lot of TP back though. Well, that's kind of bad. There's some prison fighting out there, Chief. And some impressive gullibility. <laughs> Man, you're perfect in for that idiot Quincy teams. The Crimson Tear is some kind of hunk of rock, huh? Well, I'm turning this baby into cold cash soon enough. Meanwhile, I can run back to Quincy, dry each of other's tears. Ha! <laughs> you get a goody top or just a part of the food chain, keeping us the smarter one fat and happy. Uh. Can I chase after him? Can I fucking guilt trim him and, like, being my servant for the rest of eternity? Why are so many people assholes? I don't get that. Fine, I'll go talk back to Quincy. So, Quincy, we might have a li we might have had a little encounter with Gus, but uh, yes, yeah, his ass almost got eaten by an indigent. So, yeah, that's a uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you trying to save him? Kill my friends and your fellow blades, and even attacked you. Uh. Yeah, well, I'll go for that duty, I guess. Sometimes the body reacts without thinking, so I don't suppose I can blame you. I guess you're officially as gullible as the rest of Team Quincy, huh? I'm just... Sorry, I only have the reward for the bounty mission to offer you. But looking at you, I feel sure that my friend who died trusting the bastard to the end and the right of it. So thank you. Oh, I feel bad now. You fell into Gus Trap and could not complete a mission. Quincy already seems to have... Taking ah, uh, I feel bad. <laughs> well, I shouldn't feel this bad, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Quincy. Although with that said, that does allow us to do two new things. Those two new things are actually very important. They're heart to hearts. So I think we should just get going now. 
Oh, I feel I feel like a piece of shit. God damn it. Okay, so Fry was fucking somewhere, I don't remember. Our first article heard of the day is with Dog. And you'll find him in the Central Industrial District in the morning. So let's have a little chit chat. Hey, it's Cross. I was just asking the nice lady here to pull together some extra fish first aid kits for us. Next mission can involve some running with a pair of tyrants, possibly at the same time. Uh, if we end up in a big tough fight, we're likely to suffer multiple injuries. Ah, oh, I'm jealous, actually. Well, oh, you really are one of a kind. Even the airs are quaking in their boots, and I can't say I'm bringing confidence either. I don't know anyone who's perfectly suited to being as played as you. I'd like you to burn to do it. Part of me wishes I could stand back and let you lead the charge, but we're out of our own primes to think about. So I'm going to handle this, and I'm coming back without a single fatality. That's a pretty sweet paycheck, waiting for us at the end of the line. So next time I see you, dinner's on me. Oh, well, I'm gonna get going. Thanks for lighting a fire on me. Oh, I'm suddenly in the mood for a fight. From that we get caution and conviction. Dogs hot to hunt. Once again, additional paths in the description down below. Also the end card. But with that said, we also need to move out into our second one. And once again, our second heart to heart of the day is once again with Dog. I mean, we're just rolling through here. So, Dog, what is going on again? Hey, Cross, see what's going on over there? Those folks on the tennis courts are doing everything completely wrong. Oh, well, they're having a little bit of fun. Can't say that I'm disapproved of that. This is a balancing competition, you know, so what's everyone getting excited about? Well, how about you teach him? Nope, no, 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 not gonna happen. If I start teaching how to play, they'll be all over me. There'll be no end to it. And besides, stepping up and teaching folks just isn't my style. I'll let you in on that kind of thing. So what bring, brings you here, Cross? Uh... <laughs> well, how about some exercise? Well, too bad I just finished cooling down. If I knew you were coming, I would have waited. I don't mind jogging solo, but it's really more fun to do with a friend. I'll let you know next time I'll be here if you're free. Come on down. Discipline and discovery. Dogs heart to heart. And that is going to be it for now. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's Overgame 3. And I'll see you all. Oh god, that's a huge pat for a dick. Next time. I am getting sidetracked here. Apologies. Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Two, three.